I, Susan Margaret Bruce, returning officer for the Edinburgh South Borough constituency, declare that the total number of votes given to each candidate was as follows. Briggs, Miles Edward Frank, Scottish Conservative and Unionist, 8,626. Fox, Colin Anthony, Scottish Socialist Party, 197. Hey, Neil William, Scottish National Party, 16,000. 656. Marshall Paul, UK Independence Party, 601. Mayor Phil Stewart, Scottish Green Party, 2090. Scottish Labour Party, 19,000. Scottish Liberal Democrats, 1,800. 23. I therefore give public notice that Ian Murray is duly elected as the Member of Parliament for the Edinburgh South Borough constituency. The across the Edinburgh South Borough constituency at the UK parliamentary election on 7th of May 2015 was 49,340. The total number of ballot papers rejected were 54, which is 0.11%. The turnout for the constituency was 74.98%. Thank you. very much indeed and if anyone's seen my acceptance speech in 2010 I can assure you I've had to prepare this one. Can I thank the returning officer and wish you well in your retirement uh, later on this year, Sue. Can I wish, thank everyone, all the counting agents, everyone who's counted this evening, all the polling agents who staffed our polling stations so well today and indeed the police for all they do in our communities. I wanted to also pay, pay special tribute to the people who have supported my office over the last five years. My Minter Street office team of Leslie, Caitlin, Stewart and Meredith are the backbone of all we do locally and they deserve all of this this evening. But can I spend a special tribute to my election agent Paul Mackay, who has been with us since the very beginning. He has spearheaded the most invigorating, positive and inclusive general election campaign and his wonderful wife Gemma will be glad to get him back tomorrow. And I also thank my superb campaign team. Each and every one of you are remarkable people who won this election. I couldn't be more proud of our campaign and every single one of you. And a special thank you to my lovely partner Hannah. The sacrifices you make to do this job are borne by those closest to you. Thank you. Many good, many good, dedicated and hard-working local MPs have lost their seats tonight. Sheila Gilmore and Mark Lazarevich. <laughs> Sheila Gilmore and Mark Lazarevich have represented their constituents every minute of every day. That local record of service now passes to those who have won tonight. But let's also remember their staff too who lose their jobs this evening. And can I lastly thank all the candidates in Edinburgh South, Tramod, Colin, Phil, Neil and Miles. It's been a good natured campaign and all your activists have conducted themselves impeccably. The people of Edinburgh South have put their faith in me again. I will represent all of you, 
regardless of how you voted today for the next five years. Tonight, congratulations go to the Scottish National Party and all their successful candidates for what they have achieved, but having built the hopes and aspirations of Scots, you are now charged with meeting those heavy responsibilities. You cannot now hide from or blame others for not meeting those promises. But Scotland... But Scotland needs a strong Labour Party. For the thousands... For the thousands of people who await a text message to tell them they have work that day, for the pensioners who have to decide between heating and eating, for the most vulnerable, and for the people like and for the people like my own mother, who was left with two young boys when my father died and was left to fend for herself back in the 1980s. That's why Scotland needs a strong Labour Party. We are entering a new era of constitutional politics. Constitutional politics has never built a school, never staffed a hospital, and never lifted a child out of poverty. Scottish Labour, Scottish Labour will change. We will listen. But one thing's for sure, we'll always fight for Scotland, always fight for equality, and always fight for social justice. And that work begins now. And Scottish Labour will not let you down. Thank you.